Hi, I'm Brian from the Executive Shaving Company. Today we're looking at four fragrances, mid to upmarket. Um, first, so first of all, I'll say that they happen to be four of my more expensive favourites. Um, two of the brands I know you'll have heard of. One slightly under the radar, but um, remarkably good value for money. It's from Arm Sense of Scotland. The top seller is Loch Ranza, but for me, Macri is much more interesting. Um, very well presented. This is a sample bottle. The presentation is very good. Wooden lid, nice chunky square bottle. Looks good in the bathroom. And I'll tell you what I think I get from this, not necessarily how the, the brand promotes the scent, or how they describe the scent, rather. This is what I think of it. So, Macri, it's £40 for 100ml, spray-on atomizer top. And for once, I think I actually agree with the brand. You do get sea salt from this. There's lots of patchouli and there's lots of rock rose. It's, it's slightly sharp, very different. If you're looking for something out with the box, something that's not sandalwood or bay rum or um, some of these scents, Macri, really good buy, 40 pounds, arm, scents of Scotland. Again, very different. This is the newest of the Duo F Trumper, the London brand. Um, this is the latest, and it's called Havana. And in their blurb, they say it's reminiscent of coconut trees in Cuba. Right. I'll tell you what I get from Havana. It's got phenomenal impact right away. You've, you get the, the fresh grapefruit and vetiver. It's very light when it's put on, but I know from experience that this seems to it seems to get slightly heavier. So it's very light to begin with, the impact, but it seems to get heavier as um, the hours progress. Very, very good staying power. Comes beautifully presented. There's a, an outer box, and then you get this gold crown top. Again, atomizer, a bit more expensive. Havana is £55 for 50 mils. Out of all the Castle Forbes products that we sell, the shaving creams, the pre-shave, the balms, the colognes, EDPs, Gentleman's Cologne is the one that sells the least. And I can't work out why. Because people I've recommended it to have always come back and said, wow, what a fragrance. It's a bit different. Initially it's initially it's very spicy. And then it's, you get citrus, lavender, and possibly cedar wood coming through. Um, one of the great brands, one of the great, great grooming brands, uh, Castle Forbes, Gentleman's Club, for a s immense fragrance of such sophistication, initial impact, staying power, something that's going to give you compliments, daytime, nighttime, whenever. It's remarkably good value for money. This comes in at only 60 pounds. Yep, six zero, 60 pounds. Finally, Castle Forbes, Neroli. This and 1445, they are the top selling Castle Forbes fragrances and never ever out for our top 10 uh, sellers. Always well presented, heavy glass bottles. Got 100ml here for £89 for Neroli. And Neroli. So it's tangy, it's slightly spicy to begin with, and then the bitter oranges come through orange oil and bitter oranges. Fresh, I mean, some of my age wearing this would be perfectly acceptable. Somebody 
graduated from university at 21 wearing this, it would be perfectly acceptable. Possibly better suited for night time. Here are four, maybe slightly unusual fragrances. Certainly all a bit different from the usual stuff you'll find in the supermarket on the high street or at the airport departure lounge. Macri, £40. Havana, £55. Great value for money. And then the creme de la cremes at the end. Castle Forbes, Gentleman's Cologne and Gentle, uh, Castle Forbes, Neroi. Thanks for watching.